Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and today I would like to talk tarot because I'm big on using tarot. I'm big on using tarot as a form of divination and as a part of spell work. Um, I have three different tarot decks, two that I use very regularly and one that I don't, um, mostly because I find the artwork to be really boring and kind of ugly. I have the, this is the Cat Magic deck, or Mystical Cat Tarot. The card on the top is Cat Magic, the Magician. Um, all three of these are pretty much Rider Waite clones. Um... One of them is more so, and you'll see in a minute. Um, then I have, this is the pre-colored version of the Color Your Own Tarot deck. And this is the one I don't use because I find the artwork just very bland and boring and whatever. And then I have the Justice League Tarot, which I love the artwork. It's that very comic booky style. And I love the Justice League tarot, like, I saw it and I'm like, I, I need to have this, because it's Justice League, and it's tarot, and it's two of my favorite things. Well, it's DC Comics in general, not just Justice League, but that's what they call it. So, I pulled three cards from each deck to kind of give you an idea. So, the first one we're going to look at is the Color Your Own Tarot, and again, this is the pre-colored, the Color Your Own Tarot comes with a colored, like, finished deck, and then the blank deck that you can do yourself. But I pulled... Hi, Diana. Hi. So, I pulled the Emperor. Strength. And the Hermit. Now... This is almost exactly the Rider, the original, not the original, but the Rider Weight deck. I mean, almost everything. It's, I guess, vaguely met, um, Renaissance, vaguely medieval style. Um, it's just, it's an okay deck. If this is the kind of artwork you like or if you want to color your own deck, that's, this is a good deck for you. But when looking at different decks, I look at the art. So here are the same three cards in the Mythical Cat. Myth, mystical Cat. So here's the Hermit. Which he's sitting in a little tree with pomegranates all around him. Here is Strength. I dropped a card. Sitting with all birds. And that's Strength for a cat. Right there. And then the Emperor is very regal looking. I had a cat very similar to this kind of cat. Like just a big fluffy orange cat. And then for the Justice League tarot, we have the Emperor, who obviously is Aquaman, and that fits perfectly. We have the Hermit, which is Dr. Manhattan, probably on Mars. Looks like he's on Mars. And then for Strength, we have Wonder Woman. Now, the reason it's important to have different decks like this is different cards can mean different things depending on the deck. Um, and again, it, especially with something like the Justice League Tarot, what makes Wonder Woman strong? Well, yes, she's physically strong, but her strength also comes from love and compassion and you know, truth and all of this. So, 
obviously this strength card is going to have a slightly different meaning than, you know, the, you know, cat tarot, which, what makes that cat strong? Well, it's, it's patience and ability not to lash out. And sometimes, depending on what you need, is what tarot deck you go for. Um, again, I kind of split pretty evenly between Justice League and the Cat Tarot, and every time I pull cards, my decks are really intuitive with me, and they definitely do lead me in good directions, and I, everyone always wants, like, the Rider weight clones, and I find those to be really hard to work with, the ones that are almost exactly like the artwork from the Rider Waite, um, like the color of your own tarot, it tends to stagnate the meaning of the cards, and I think variety is important because it gives you, it gives you other opinions, like, you could pull the same four cards from each of these decks, and you're going to get a different opinion, um, or different way to look at a problem, especially if you're looking at a problem, and when I have a big problem that I'm trying to work through, I do sometimes pull from both my Justice League and my my cat deck because, I, you know, I pull Justice League and then I pull cats, and it kind of gives me two sides of the same problem and two ways to look at it. And then I have the decision of, okay, how am I going to go about this? And I'm not saying that you need all these opinions. Like, obviously having too many opinions can be a bad thing. But I think having more than one will never hurt. Um, definitely having two decks and two opinions is helpful. Um... Obviously, have as many or as few decks as you want. Um, but yeah, I think there's so much focus on should and shouldn't that we kind of forget, you know, what makes us feel comfortable and what makes us. Again, an art is very subjective. Um, there are people who probably hate the the cat deck and the Justice League deck, like, and think the art in both of them is horrible. There are people who like more simple, you know, one or two figures on the page. The, um, the Color Your Own Tarot doesn't have pictures, it just has the numbers and for the, um, Minor Arcana, it just has five of whatever it is, so, or, you know, the number of whatever it is, so this is five of pentacles, and it just has five pentacles, two of swords, it's just two swords, um, all of the Justice League tarot have characters on them, and you do need to know, for this deck, it is, it isn't new user friendly, you do have to know what the basic meaning of the Five of Pentacles is, and that's weird, I pulled five for both. Um, and what the character, I think that's, I really don't know who that character is, so let's find one that I know. Okay, like, Queen of Wands is Zatanna, so it helps if you know who Z uh, Zatanna is, and you know what the Queen of Wands represents, and for the Cat Tarot, we have... These are a lot different, because instead of wands, pentacles, swords, and cups, wait, yeah, cups, it's C for cups, fire for wand, wait, fire for wands, air for swords, and earth for pentacles. I had to think about that. So, like, this is three of the C, 
which is two cats and a seal. Um, you know, eight of earth is a mama cat and her kittens, so. And again, it helps to know, it helps to know what the cards already mean, but this one came with the book, the Justice League Tarot did it, so. But yeah, uh, let me know your opinions on tarot down below. Um, be respectful in the comments, as always. Uh, links will be uh, down below to the Justice League Tarot, to... I keep shaking the camera, I'm sorry. To the Justice League Tarot, to the Cat Tarot, to the Color Your Own Tarot, if, if any of these interested, interest you at all. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!